you get them, check it out. Now, look at rappers like basketball players. If you guys follow basketball, free agency season, at least these days, is probably the best part of basketball, the NBA in particular. Now, the reason why is you see people make money decisions and also winning decisions at the same time. I'm going to go to that team. I'm just going to take the money. I'm going to stay here. Give me the max contract. However, what you realize is this. Teams hate when the players got the choice, right? We want to have a contract on you that we could trade you. We could do whatever with you. But when you are making the choices, you know what? You're now unpredictable. It's the same thing with rap. We lock you into a deal. And if you don't know how rap deals work, rap deal, you'll probably sign a five-album deal where the label guarantees two of them. And then after that, it's up to them. So if you're popping, they're going to take up all the options. It's going to be five. If you're not popping, that's when they're going to say, nigga, you're shelved. We'll either drop you or we'll do some other shit. Now, think in in an aspect of Drake, okay? Drake is a huge fucking star. Call him the LeBron of rap. If you got LeBron on your team, Will you ever let LeBron go to free agency? Now, considering labels ain't doing much for these niggas at this point, so you just want to get your percentage of their money. So it's no, like, Lakers versus Cavs or Warriors. You just want to keep that motherfucker happy and keep him on your label. Now, would you ever let him become a free agent? No. So every time he drops an album or two, you re-up. Now, Drake has been a person who has been vocal about letting people know about his album-like requirements or his deal-like situation. And a lot of people thought after he dropped, if you're reading this, is too late, he was out the deal with cash money. Now, it was a thought because his contract was about to be up. That's from what I've been hearing. Now, what happened is that he re-signed for multiple albums. That's why he kept being on cash money. Now, he dropped two more albums, which was, of course, Views and More Life, and then he dropped Scorpion. By the way, let me make some lines that he says make sense to you. Remember on Scorpion, he said, I just gave him two for 40 million like Chappelle. Well, he got 20 million for each of those albums, More Life and also for Views, okay? Now, what happened is that this new situation where Cash Money Records and YMCMB, which is Young Money Cash Money, they're pretty much getting dissolved because of the Wayne and Birdman beef. So because of that, all the contracts are being ended. Now, because of that, Drake has now re-signed another whole deal. Guess where this deal is with? And this is what is being reported. He has signed directly to Universal Music Group. I'll give you the quick hierarchy. Universal Music Group is the is the parent company that Cash Money was underneath, but also that their distributor, at least for Drake, Republic Records is underneath as well. So Drake finally signed directly to the parent company. No more middleman. And remember when Pusha T said, sign to one nigga that signed to another nigga that signed to another nigga, and you're all fucked up? Well, Drake is actually signed directly into the system at this point. Now... Again, he had a bunch of options because if you're Drake and if you ever became a free agent, which he's not because the report is he just signed a new deal just straight with Universal. If he was a free agent, think about what he could have done. He could have said, man, fuck it. I'm going to sign with Apple. You know why? Apple been paying Drake's music video fees. Like for most of Drake's music videos recently, the God's Plan actually came out of his record label budget. So uh, Republic paid for that. But for like Hotline Bling and all them videos, that was paid by Apple. Okay, so why not Drake couldn't say, man, I got a radio show with y'all, y'all, y'all already the biggest music streaming service, and y'all paying for my videos, just be my record company. Okay, he could have done that. That would be a very groundbreaking move, just assigned to a streaming company. Second of all, he could have went somewhere else other than Universal. He could have went to Warner. You know what's at Warner? OVO Sound. By the way, his record label, OVO Sound, he did not sign through Universal. He signed it somewhere else. And what leverage could you have if you walked up into OVO Sound and you say, hey, you guys get to have me and my label. Now when I ask y'all when the next Party Next Door album coming up and y'all start to be like, "Uh uh-oh, we don't know. All I got to say to you motherfuckers is I'm not putting out shit until his shit comes out. Guess how quick they're going to put out party shit, okay? So it's all about leverage. He could have done that. Now, maybe he does some weird situation where he brings OVO Sound over to Universal Music Group, but he's staying with the parent company. So, I'm thinking they gave him the back, and they got to give him more than $20 million an album. They probably gave him $30 million an album, okay? And also, probably some more additional perks that he could feel good to drop maybe one or two more albums coming up. Now, apparently, this is what's also being reported, too. Because his new contract is in place now, he is going to drop an album quicker than we expect, okay? And it may call it mixtape, whatever you might call it, 
but he's going to drop another project soon that he could start getting into this new requirement in these new terms. Again, this is all industry grapevine talks, but if you guys ever wonder what's going on with Drake, he's staying all universal. Apparently, he's supposed to be dropping another project soon, and he could have just, like, waited it out and became really a free agent, but no. Why fuck it up if you've been winning this whole time? He's still on Universal, all right? Get a comment, make you guys like them, subscribe. Hopefully, I'll let you guys understand some of the musical hierarchy shit and even the business stuff that goes on with people and labels. I know I was very intrigued in that when I was, like, just obsessed with rap. Hopefully, I helped you out. Get a comment, make you guys like them, subscribe to Watch Academics. If you like more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. I'm up!